Welcome. To run example Greek code, go to the Launchpad, Tutorial Examples, Renewable Greek Code, and open the project. The power plant is defined in the plant editor. As you see, all the PVs, Statcom, and WTGs are defined. The meter at the point of interconnection is defined and its directions and the ratings of the plant. If you go to the study case, the capability study case, you see that in the Greek code page, you have the plant uh, selected. This is our plant that we are doing the study. The Greek code is selected and all the other settings related to the Greek code studies that we use to sweep the PQ and VQ curves with all the new features to take care of the violations and alerts. So if you go to the scenario and run capability new statcom and run this analysis, it basically gonna sweep the PQ and QV curves and determines the capability of this plant and creates an Excel report. This may take some time as ETAB gonna run lots of load flows to find the PQ and VQ capability for all different active and reactive power and voltage levels. Once analysis is done, ETAB creates the Excel Apple report. And in the report, you can see all the study parameters, the capability curve of the assets, the Greek code, and then the capability curve of the plant versus the Greek code. And it gives you this nice extra report as well as the VQ curves that defines the capability of this plan. In order to run the grid code right through, uh, you can go to Scenario Wizard and run low voltage right through for point two. This scenario is going to apply events to drop the voltage to 20%. So it's going to drop it by 80% and it's going to reset back the voltage to back to the one per unit and this is done at the point 0.2 and point, uh, 89 uh, seconds. If I run this scenario, it's going to run change and stability and once it's done, it's going to create an Excel report for grid code analysis. You're going to see that all the information at the point of measurements of the plant, you're going to see all the actions, the right through from the grid code, the voltage drop, the positive sequence, the PQ chart, and as you see, during the fall, the active power drops and reactive power increases. The reactive power support, the IQ versus V1. The negative sequence, if there is a negative sequence injection, the response of all the inverters in your plant, the P hertz curves, the QV charts, they are all provided in this report. You can run similar scenarios for other type of low voltage right through as well as high voltage right through. Also, you can learn low frequency right through and high frequency right through. In order to evaluate the performance of a power plant controller, you can run the PPC test scenario. Once I run this scenario, what it does is gonna basically send some commands through the study case to power plant controller to adjust the active and reactive power control. Let's look at this case and see how the ETAP simulates the plant with the power plant controller. Okay, first let's look at the study case. We have sent a command at two seconds to curtail the power to 15 megawatt. And then we send the command at six seconds to uncurtail we send a command at nine seconds to change the reactive power to the Q control and to the five megavar. And at 12 seconds, we go and change the reactive power control to power factor control and 100% power factor. Now let's look at the response of the system. If I go and plot the power at the point of interconnection, you see that at two seconds, the power gets curtailed to 15 megavar and at six seconds, it gets uncurtailed back to its maximum value. So if I plot the, if I plot the reactive power at the point of interconnection or at point of measurement, you see that at the place that we send a command at nine seconds, we send a command to go to above five megavar, it went to five megavar. 
And later on, we send a command at 12 seconds to go to the power factor mode, 100%. So it means that it brings the queue to almost zero. So if we go to the display option here, at the end of the simulation, go to the display and go to MVA and say that show the power factor, you see that power factor comes to the 100. You can use the power plant controller settings along with the steady case events, as you see here. In the events, you can do curtailing, uncurtailing. You can send a different commands to the power plant controller and evaluate your system by running transient stability, as well as you can run time domain load flow and evaluate the performance of your system for various grid code or interconnection studies. If you're interested to learn about ETAB grid code solution, go to the ETAB website and find the ETAB grid code page, and you'll find all the information about the features and capabilities of ETAB grid code solutions. There are also several recordings and webinars available that you can learn more. Thank you.